Where did Homo erectus first emerge and when did it go extinct is a question that has puzzled paleoanthropologists for decades. The Smithsonian list dates for Homo erectus between about 1.89 million years ago and 110,000 years ago. The most recent finds at Dimenisi suggest Homo erectus is older than previously believed, perhaps going back to 2.1 million years ago. The fossils at Nagondong in Indonesia are generally believed to represent the last stand of Homo erectus. Earthsky.org, the date range for the last known Homo erectus holdout in Nagandong is 108,000 to 117,000 years ago. Professor Russell Siachon, Homo erectus on the island of Java, continued to encephalize. Was Homo erectus on Java smarter than Homo erectus in Africa? We can certainly document that the brain got bigger. Note, as we have documented extensively on this channel, what was previously known as Homo erectus in Africa is very likely an entirely separate species, Homo ergaster. Chinese anthropologists have long favored a much later date for Homo erectus extinction, or no extinction at all. A study was published in 2006 lead author Xiu J. Wu, endocranial cast of Hexian Homo erectus from South China. Paper. The Hexian cranium was found in 1980 in Longtangdong, Hexian County, Anhui Province in southern China. Continuing. The cranium was deformed and broken into several fragments. Size of the cranium, 1,023 cc. Hexian has more morphological features in common with Jolkaldian. Note, CKD is simply an abbreviation for Jolkaldian, the site near Beijing where the famous Peking Homo erectus skulls were first found in the 1930s. The authors note a continuity from Homo erectus to modern Han Chinese, particularly in the size and shape of the cranium and in unique features. Study. Both Hexian and the Jokaldian endocast have sagittal keels. Some of the modern Chinese in our sample have a weak sagittal keel. Smithsonian, a sagittal crest is the bony ridge on the top of the skull where the jaw muscles of some early humans were anchored, allowing powerful chewing, which runs lengthwise down the middle. Asian erectus, more advanced than Afro ergaster. Typical Homo ergaster cranium size is at 690 cc. Asian erectus is much larger than the Africans at 1100 cc. Xiu Jie Wu et al. cite another paper regarding the possibility of speech among Asian Homo erectus. Abwatiz and Garcia et al. 1997 noted that the left orbital cap part of Broca's area is bigger than the right in fossil human endocast and that this asymmetry suggests that Homo erectus possibly had the ability to speak. Turkana boy is regarded as the type specimen for Homo ergaster and representative of members of his species. Australia Museum. It was initially believed that the Turkana boy Homo ergaster were capable of language, but new technologies such as PET have now caused this idea to be revised. Continuing, Turkana Boy's backbone showed that his spinal cord was half the size of a modern human's, 
lack the nerves responsible for fine control of the muscles that coordinate breathing during speech. Spatial Temporal Xiu Jie Wu et al. then reach a stunning conclusion on the age of the He Xuan fossil. Continuing, an age of about 200,000 years ago was initially assigned to the site. Most recently, ESR analysis obtained an age estimate of 412,000 years ago to 25,000 years ago. Pengu In 2008, a fishing trawler was operating off the coast of Pengyu, an island 15 miles west of Taiwan. Smithsonian. The fossil was discovered in the Pengyu Channel. Continuing, the anonymous fisherman then sold it to an antique shop and it was eventually obtained by Taiwan's National Museum of Natural Sciences. Study 2015, the first archaic Como from Taiwan. The new hominid mandible was dredged by a fishing net from the deep Pengu submarine channel. Continuing, because its stratigraphic context is unknown, the age of Pengu 1 can only be determined by analyzing the fossil specimen itself. Continuing, Pengu 1 revealed an unexpectedly late survival, most likely 190,000 to 10,000 years ago. 10,000 years ago. Over the years, paleoanthropologists have been unsure where to classify Pengu 1. Is it an archaic modern human, a Denisovan, or a late Homo erectus? Live Science 2015, the researchers said Pengu 1 does resemble the Hexian fossil in southern China, located about 590 miles north of the Pengu Channel. Rainer Grun of Australia National University is a longtime friend and colleague of Chris Stringer. Grun is regarded as one of the top cranial morphometrics experts in the world. Grun's paper published in Nature, along with his Chinese colleagues, includes this astonishing chart. It shows Chinese erectus overlapping with Hexian and Pengu. Java Man versus Peking Man. Grun's chart also separates Chinese erectus from the famed Java Man. Recall that the pugnacious Dubois argued strenuously with Reidenreich and Konigswald that Java Man should be classified separately from Peking Man. Left Synanthropus Peking Man from China, right Pithecanthropus erectus from Java. Judging by Grun's analysis, Dubois may have been right all along. Two separate species. Grun et al. in PCA, Pengu 1 scores high together with Asian Homo erectus and is markedly different from African and Georgian early Middle Pleistocene mandibles. Grun et al. note that Pengu 1 share some mandibular dimensions that are similar with Denisovans and Java erectus, but they conclude Pengu 1 is most similar to Hexian. Do the Hexian and Pengu specimens represent a unique and separate species of Asian erectus? 
possibly related to Joe Caldeon in the north. Regional Continuity in East Asia Quote, the fossil record I see thus far increasingly suggests that wherever you are getting late erectus, you're getting early sapiens at about the same time. You see it in Southeast Asia. You see it in Central Asia. End quote. Richard Leakey, 1989. Quote, China may contain the best evidence for supporting the multi-regional model. A couple of skulls dated to roughly 100,000 years ago that seem to possess a mixture of classic Homo erectus and Homo sapiens traits. End quote. Donald Johansson, discoverer of Lucy, Australopithecus. Both the Pengu and Hesian papers give a date range for the fossils of 200,000 years ago to 10,000 years ago. Regional continuity from Pengu Hesian erectus to modern East Asians. Erectus traits in modern Asians coming soon.